Well, it seems only fitting that Pat Glory came out to a Bruce Springsteen song. This has been a much awaited matchup of two New Jersey natives with Nick Suriano from Paramus, New Jersey, Pat Glory from Randolph, New Jersey. First finalist for Princeton in 20 years, and Nick Suriano trying to be a champion once again. Great matchup between these two wrestlers. And you know what? Pat Glory is a smart wrestler. He got beat. Talk about a lot here is these guys going out there on momentum. They weren't the same people they were a week and a half ago. They have an opportunity to become a national champion. Chance to become the champion. And, and, and you know, when you look at Pat Glory, this is a guy that was on a long win streak before Arujo got him in the conference finals, but now he finds himself in front of Nick Soriano, a guy that has already stood the top of the podium, and just a truly different level athlete. Soriano is one of those guys that moves to the beat of his own drum, but he does things the correct way, and he constantly gives himself a chance. Always working the forward pressure in his matches. He likes to go ahead and take a lot of territory. But against a guy like Glory, who has a lot of misdirection and also a little slide-by attempts here, he takes that momentum of his opponent and attacks. Glory's doing a good job of staying into his fakes, pulling at the underhook. Forces Soriano to try and make him wrestle on his terms. Look at this by Soriano, trying to tuck his head into the hole as he tries to chase down no that high control, that, gentlemen. That, uh, front headlock takedown. Good job of competing there by Glory, staying square. Sliding out of that front headlock. It's Suriano from Michigan, trying to be their first national champion since Kellen Russell back in 2012. The stakes even higher for Glory. Princeton has only had one national champion all the way back in 1951. And tonight we will get the best version of these athletes, especially at the smaller weight class one where minute, they tend to cut minute. a lot of weight. Pat Glory now has had a lot of time to recover. Fingers so he would be at his best. He will feel good. Soriano also, you will get guys 100% feeling great after long tournaments, fully hydrated, focused and ready to go. So expect some really high level matches tonight in the middle of this match. Oh, and so far, Glory just hanging in there right now. He's going ahead and keeping the forward. He's not allowed, getting pushed around by Suriano. That's one of his major tactics here. He pushes guys to the edge, gets the uh, attack off. Now a counter shot there by Suriano. Fought off pretty well here by Glory. Wow. Really oh, yeah, Glory. He got to the high punch, never Two, allowed Glory to sit the three. corner. Glory tried to Four. sit the corner to try to scoot to the outside. Suriano continued to work through his finish. The team. And there's something about One. getting takedowns at the right time. Right. So we got that two. takedown with 20 seconds Three. left in the round. So as we head into round two, Three. he's going to be up 2-0 opposed to 2-1 One. if he got that takedown early. I mean, it's a setting that Soriano knows well. This is his third NCAA Finals appearance. A long road for him. She started his career at Penn State, then transferred to Rutgers, winning a national championship. Their first national champion for the Scarlet Knights, an Olympic redshirt. His dreams deferred because of a positive COVID-19 test. He did a lot of training out in Arizona and chose to come to Michigan. Team 100 for them and the national championship right in their backyard down the road from Ann Arbor. Well, I like that decision by Soriano here, DC. He decided to go ahead and take the down position, had the takedown in the ride out here. So really gives him an opportunity to go ahead and test glory from the uh, bottom position. He's yep. trying to come out. Did not admit any weakness. No, ex extend that lead, right? Yeah. Trying to extend that lead. You know, you're up 2-0. You take bottom, you get one, or you get two here. Yeah. Now he's in full control of the match, up 4-0 against glory. And, and honestly, coach, also it's a mental game because Pat Glory is so good on the mat. Now Nick Soriano one, knows that he can not only two, escape from him, three. but he can reverse him and ride him from the top position. Great work there. You know, and it all started with that takedown. You know, that, you know, picturesque form, takedown here, head in the ribs, followed through. Good work here in the top position, harassing that base one. here that uh, Glory has, working at the edge. And they're out on the edge. Soriano had the winding path to get to Michigan. His head coach, Sean Bormet, just named the NWCA Coach of the Year, first yeah. ever to win that at Michigan, as they worked to their best finish since 2005. Bormet did a great job this year with a ton of talent. That was a great job with Hold on the clock. It's yeah, yeah, sometimes what you're expected to do is the hardest. Hold you never, you, you don't fall flat on your face. Bormet was able to get these guys motivated, and they really did give Penn State a scare early in the tournament. 
great tournament by the Michigan Wolverines. And they also won the Big Ten Championships. Yep. You know, this is a team that, you know, could have easily just, you know, settled for second, and, but did a great job at the Big Ten Championships taking home that title. A real banner year for them. First conference title since 1973, and they finished with six All-Americans here in Detroit. Good work from the top position there for Soriano. Good map returns. Holding on to that 4-0 lead. Riding time already at 59 seconds. You know, I spoke to Soriano, moving to the beat of his own drum. I was talking to Coach Jackson, an assistant at Michigan, and he goes, you know, he does his own thing. He goes, but D.C., there's no one better. He goes, he works so hard. He listens to whatever you tell him to do. He doesn't question anything. So you want an athlete like that, a Nick Soriano, a guy that gives his all and his everything to his training, committed to his coaching staff, and he finds himself with an opportunity to win another national championship of 4-0, now has riding time. Green. Green Let's not forget he won that first national title at, at you know, 133. Yeah, up away and at Rutgers. So, you know, he just got a, a stalling call, and now Glory's on his feet and doing a good job of staying up. Now, you see, people are upset that he didn't get that second call, but many officials are very hesitant to call two stall calls in one sequence. They generally will call a, a stalemate or something to restart so that they're not just handing out points. Well, he, could, he had the opportunity to take it off the mat, exactly what you're talking about. I think it was a good call by Angel Rivera. Ten. Now, if he stands again for five seconds, they will hit Soriano again. Four, now, here's three, the count. Three. One oh. time! Oh, he's hurt. Yep, he's hurt. He hit his head. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. He went straight down forward on his head. Read your choice. It looks like he's struggling with oh, his stop. neck here. Do you, what do you want? Injury time? Injury time? Don't talk to me about anything. Soriano went to a high crotch position here when he came up. It was a little before this. You saw Glory come over the top, went forward. Looked like he almost spiked himself here. Right there, there it is, right there, right he spiked down. himself yeah, as Soriano was trying to finish that high cross by coming up in the middle. Glory went head down, I mean, jammed his neck up. Let's hope that the kid's okay. DC, you wrestled through an infinite number of positions. Have you ever fallen like that? You know, you, you, you feel everything, but it's One a matter minute. of how the impact affects you. It doesn't always happen the same way, right? This time, it seems as though it gave him a stinger up his shoulder, because you saw him grab his shoulder immediately. Um, yes, over here. you hurt yourself here. daily in practice, but go over there. Just go I may have fallen down there a Red. thousand times, but it doesn't always impact you in the I same way. And usually five? it's from the feet to the back. Yes. Yeah. 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 That type of technique where you're leaving yeah. your feet, you're throwing you. Five five that was a strange position to be in here to have that much compression on the neck. Soriano has the lead, a takedown and a reversal, his advantage. And the Princeton corner, especially Joe Dubuque, Chris Ayers, They've been pining hey, to get a stalling call so Green far. Choice. Just a warning against Soriano. The next will be a point for Glory. Set on top. Yeah, with the injury, with the injury time that, that he took right there, Soriano had the choice. I think that's why we're, we're, with him being in a different yeah. position, yeah. yeah. Or actually, or it could possibly be the goal. He chose the top position. That's a position easy, he's really easy, successful in. Easy, Get back into this match. Didn't quite see that. A bit of an entanglement as they come back for the restart 13 seconds into the third period. Hey, here's the thing about Soriano. He ain't afraid of Set. a fight. This is on one of those guys that when I look at the, the brackets and I start to think, who could be a mixed I'm martial artist? Who has the, the, the demeanor? Who has the temperament of a fighter? I look directly at Ann Arbor. And I look at Nick Soriano as a guy that I could yeah. see competing on one day inside of an octagon. Good work there by Glory, you know, working that leg in. But now Soriano kind of cutting him off there, not letting that leg get in. This is trying to get a little elevation here at DC. This is smart by Glory, Coach, because before he was allowing Soriano to get started. And because Soriano was getting started, he was playing catch up from the top. Now he's gotten ahead of him. Now he's got to try to find some risk, try to find some controls that will allow for him to try to get turned. And I think he's trying to get that right leg in. You see the right leg trying to come in with the uh, Soriano's right leg. And there's a one-point stall warning there awarded here to Glory in the head and arm position at Merkel position. And they're going to call it potentially dangerous and get a stop. Great for Soriano on that one. Yes, because if, if Glory could have thread that leg in there, he started rolling across his own back. 105, 105. Looking to get some back points. He had that side headlock in very, very tight. Hold. Set green. 
Hey, on the whistle, on top. You talk about Nick Suriano at the, at the next level. Another Cross caution, it. I believe that's the third one. That's one, one point. I mean, Suriano's now giving points because now we got a little bit of a different match, Coach. The riding time has been taken off the board. If he can still a quick tilt, now only a two count, puts him right back in the match. Set. Top. And all New Jersey final here with Suriano, a Big Ten champion at two different schools and a national champion. Here goes Glory to work. Oh, he's got a, got a side tilt going. He's over the top on him. That, that, that's the type of tilt that you got to watch for Glory to try to get off here. Quick tilt, something that puts him. Hey, Suriano's base He's got to be very careful with the stall in here. And when you look for a guy who's, whether he's competing in the bottom position or not, oh, he's got his elbows out, hands in. He's not really trying to get off of his uh, stomach there at this stage. I guess he's being squeezed in pretty much with a parallel line. Yeah, yeah, again. 30 seconds left. It's four to three. Oh, he cut him. Now he's got time. Now he cuts it out. One stall in the point. Now he's got to go chase the takedown. And if Soriano gets hit against the stall, then that's true. Yes, and he's taking the he territory. If Soriano gets hit again, it will be a two-point stall call, and we will be going into overtime. Oh, he's getting close. 12 seconds, he's got engaged. He circled back into he the center, to, though. Coach, he has got to engage. This official will not give away four points. Glory in on a shot, and that's time. Wow. Coach, I might not have been mad if they would have called it, though. <laughs> Nick Soriano is a national champion for the second time in his career. Once at Rutgers, and now of Michigan giving them their first champion in a decade. No shortage of drama with Nick Suriano's dad, Bob, watching on. And Moving as his son moved on the mat as well. I mean, Bob is moving like Nick. And honestly, Nick was moving almost to a point of getting himself yeah. hit by a penalty. Let's go to Quinn. No shortage of drama there at the end, Nick. What happened? Uh, whatever. Things got tough. And, you know, it was a flash. It went by quick. I want to say congratulations to my mom. It's her birthday today. And this was big for me and my family. It wasn't the way I wanted to finish, but sometimes you got to get to where you want to go and get it done, no matter the circumstance. Your second NCAA title. What's most notable about this victory? You know, I dominated the match besides the end there. Things got a little spooky, got in my head a little bit. It's part of the game. I'm a step above. I stopped wrestling at the end. And, I, it, 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 you know, hard work pays and I'm just, I try going out there with joy. You're the best. Way to go. Thanks.